recently been researching baking soda and the use of cleaning it with your fruits and vegetables and what I've uncovered is that it does a better job of removing the pesticides from your fruits and vegetables. So I wanted to show you guys that in today's video. I've kind of switched over from using vinegar to using baking soda instead and these are the containers that I store my fruits and vegetables in. I picked these up from Target and I've been using them now for a couple weeks. They really do a great job of keeping the fruits and vegetables fresh. But anyway, back to baking soda. I will leave a recent study that I found in the description box below. You can check it out yourself, but you can also try it out. I highly encourage you to just pour over some of your fruits and your vegetables and see how much dirt comes out. Um, you can even compare it with a vinegar wash and a baking soda wash. You guys, I was really amazed at the difference. A recent study from a reliable source says that baking soda actually removes up to 96% of pesticides from fruits and vegetables, which is a substantial difference when you compare it to other fruit and vegetable cleaners and also a very cheaper alternative as well. So if you're looking for a way to clean your fruits and vegetables and you want to do it at an affordable cost, then baking soda, I'm sure, is something that you already have in your cabinet. Next up, I got this microband in my recent Walmart order. So this is my first time trying it, but I like to usually go around the house on the weekends or even after the weekend is over and just kind of spray the doorknobs. This helps to remove any um, bacteria and just keep them really nice and sanitized. So that is what I'm doing here. I usually go through the entire house, but for the sake of this video, I'm just going to go through a couple of our doors and entryways. Today's video is going to be full of organization motivation. I am starting out here in my bathroom actually and yep surprise surprise it is a mess under here so we're going to tackle all of this um i like to purge before i purchase and so what i mean by that is i like to go through everything that i have get rid of stuff there was so much expired stuff down here um so i took an opportunity and just purge completely and then that way i knew what i was going to keep which which told me what I needed for storage. Comment down below if there are any spaces in your home that you're working on or that you need to tackle or declutter. Um, the bathrooms was the first spot for me and then the next area is the kitchen. I've already started working on it a little bit and got rid of a lot of stuff but now I just want to order some organization um, and get everything organized and Amazon is really one of the best places to um, find all unique types of organization. Organization, Walmart, Home Goods, Target. So those are all the stores that I'm kind of looking at. But again, I highly recommend before you start or when you start a declutter project to purge before you purchase because a lot of times you can just overbuy. And if you want to keep everything in budget, um, just get rid of a lot. That way you know what you're gonna keep before you make any purchases. I also felt to mention the Dollar Tree as well. They are a very affordable place to find different types of organization and get your spaces all cleaned up. Cause you know you are a gem, gem, gem 
so right now I am just going through all of my shampoos, throwing away um, expired products or just products that I have no intention on using on, on my hair or the girl's hair. And after that, just putting them in the same band that I already have. And then likewise for these hair bands um, and all of the things that I use, like when I go work out and stuff like that, I'm just putting them in this little bin until I find the one that I want um, on Amazon and purchase it. So more than likely there will be a part two to this organization, but first I kind of wanted to just get through all of the madness. And right here, what I was trying to point out is that for my hot tools, I actually plan on buying something that I can put over the door to organize like my blow dryer, my flat iron. I don't have a lot of hot tools, so I only have like three, which is not too bad, but I just wanted something to kind of free up more counter space since this is such a small bathroom. So this is the before. I just wanted to show you guys what it looked like before and what it looks like after. I didn't buy anything new. I just organized it with what I had on hand. And I really wanted to show you guys this because sometimes it can be very expensive to go out and purchase new products. Um, so if you have anything on hand, you can always use those first. Um, or, you know, like the products you just saw, mostly all those are from either Home Goods or Dollar Tree. So while well, I'm going to purchase a few things because that's just something that I want, you don't have to go out and do that. All right, so let me give you guys a tour and tell you what the plan is. So over here, I decided to put all of the hair products since mostly this is where like my brush and all that stuff is. I decided to put all of that right here. So these are all the shampoos and the conditioners that I decided to keep. And then over there is my hot tools. Um, since I purge before I purchase, and that's a big like rule of thumb, purge before you purchase, I now know what I need and I know where I want to put it. So I put my hot tools over here and hopefully um, the tool that I order from Amazon, I can just stick it right there and that will help to organize like my blow dryer and my flat irons and all of that. The only thing that will be sitting is this steamer. So that's that. Over here I have my... Um, by the way, I know it still looks dirty back there. I need to spray a little bit more, but I did as best as I could. But yeah, I'm, I'm going to clean that a little bit more, but we'll look past that. Um, anyway, right here I have my headbands and they do have some like headband organizers that like stand up tall. But this is good enough for me right now. So I like this. Um, I think I will probably keep that. You could buy these from the dollar store or Home Goods. I think I got these from Home Goods when we first moved into this house. Over here, I have soaps, feminine products, and stuff like that. I don't have a place for nails. And so, um, that's something that I want to think about as well as like an acrylic place to keep um, hand towels. I like to keep start keeping some of our hand towels or at least my face towels in here. So um, that's something you guys can probably expect to see in the next video. Up here, I have all the tools that I use on a daily basis. And so I would like to see these put at the bottom um, right beside like my little um hair supplies right there so i don't know they're in this little canister that i picked up from target a few months ago and i really love it it's nice it's handy it's functional um and it makes sense i'm gonna go through these right now see what i don't need but yeah it has like deodorant and um lotions like my daily lotions that i use my face stuff so some of that stuff just doesn't need to stay on the top so yeah i'm gonna go ahead and declutter that but yeah now i know what i need to order from amazon so stay tuned for that because i'll um, share the part two i guess so to speak to that and also this drawer we're gonna go ahead and get this organized by the way i shared over on instagram a few days ago that i purchased this cetaphil 
to use as my face facial moisturizer. I usually use um, Belief at Sephora, but that's $38 and this was $18. So I'm trying it for the first time. I've used it once and I really do like it. This one was $18, so that was a $20 difference. But it kept my face moisturized all day and my skin can get really dry any season. So if you have dry to um, normal skin and it's sensitive, then so far I'm enjoying this. But I can't tell you 100% yet because I haven't used it more, you know, at least 15 or 30 days. So um, I'll, I'll give you my thoughts on that. I picked up this. This was only a dollar, but it's like a cocoa cream. And so it just helps with, um, and I don't have like super dry skin, but I, I do like to, you know, keep my skin nice and moisturized. So I tried that. If you like that pure coconut scent smell, then you will really like this because that's the smell that it has. And this is kind of what it looks like. So I like to use this at night, but it does a really good job of moisturizing the skin. I got it from Walmart for a dollar. Last product since we're right here, I'll show you guys that I'm loving. I buy this Tatcha nonstop. It's a deep cleanser. It is worth it. It is a little bit on the pricier side. So I try to show you guys both. Um, but absolutely worth it. I will continue to buy it. It does an amazing job at um, deep cleansing your skin. And then this is the Clinique um, Take the Day Off. And um, I'm not a big fan of balm. If you like a balm, then this is a great balm. But I just prefer a cleanser or, you know, something that's not as greasy. This is like a greasy feel to it. It does do an amazing job at removing all of your makeup. So if you like a balm, then you will love this. I'm just using it trying to just use it up before I buy what I prefer and that's something that I've been trying to do um, overall is just kind of use up some of these skincare products I just have I've had too many and you know I'm really trying to kind of manage what I buy and use everything up so that's what I'm doing with that you call me for one last day then you hypnotize me into a trance Thinking I really had a chance But I woke up on my own The world keeps on spinning round I'm planting my feet flat on the ground Living is all that I can do And keeping It was such a relief to get these drawers organized because, you know, in your bathroom, your main bathroom, you use your drawers all the time and it can be frustrating to not know where things are or when you visually see something that's disorganized, it can cause, you know, unnecessary stress or, you know, just any type of like discomfort in that way. So organization really is so important just for your mental well-being, um, just for so many things. The list goes on, but I was really happy to finally get these drawers nice and organized and some of these organization like these clear ones that you're seeing right here they're actually from a partnership that I did not too long ago with LifeWit so I will still link those products in the description box below because they're absolutely amazing I've used them throughout my entire house to just get things organized and I love the fact that they are nice and clear you can see through them it also comes in multiple different sizes um, and this whole set was less than 40 bucks and it came with a lot of containers so this is actually my second time or maybe even my third project that I've used with the same packet oh, All right, 
right so we have this bag of stuff we're throwing away and this is some other stuff too um but yeah that bag of stuff and then this is pretty much what's left over um very little bit i'm keeping the rest is um gonna be donated or given away just yeah This little spot right here has always been a catch-all spot for us. It's actually right at the top of our staircase. So I decided to place our girls' um, face masks in there. They still wear them to school sometimes. So I thought this would be a neat little place to store them where they're kind of sight unseen, um, but easy to, you know, remember that they're there. And it actually could fit a lot of face masks in there. So really glad that I put those there. I also want to mention that today's video is in collaboration with Aeptum. I'm partnering with them today and sharing with you guys their bamboo bedding set. And oh my gosh, this set is absolutely amazing. You guys know I love sharing different type of beddings with you. I'm always looking for ways to just spice up our bedroom, especially as the different seasons change. And so if you're looking for a set that is extremely comfortable, but yet um, luxury, feel then this is definitely a set for you so today I'm trying out the all-inclusive bamboo set this bundle included one duvet cover set, a bed sheet, and an all-season comforter, as well as your pillow covers and your flat sheet and all that good stuff don't you just love to go to a really nice hotel and have an amazing experience with your bedding? And usually when I leave a really good hotel, I'm always wondering like, what type of bedding did I sleep on? And so I was really excited to try out bamboo bedding um, in this bamboo set. I've never had um, or tried bamboo bedding before. So I was really excited to see what it felt like. And I can tell you, it felt like luxury. It was absolutely amazing at an affordable cost. I've never had a duvet before, but I've always wanted one. So um, they made it very, very easy because I've heard some things about how difficult it can be. But as you can see right here, this one was super in easy for the insert to go in. So right here, you just kind of connect it together and tie it and just drop the rest of the duvet inside the insert and it laid perfectly. It only took me less than five minutes to kind of put it all together, which was really good. Now with Aeptum, all of the fabrics are designed in house for a superior quality. The organic bamboo fabric is woven from specially ordered ultra fine and long fiber yarns for a softer and smoother touch. You guys can see right here how luxury it looks um, with your bedding. And I like to just add different type of layers to my bed. You guys know I've been into layers, so I'm just going back through and adding a few layers with it. But but you can use this with layers or without and it's all season so you can use this any type of time of year um, you're not going to overheat or you're not going to feel cold at winter time I'm sure because it's just the right the perfect temperature if you want to try out this organic bamboo set for yourself, I will have a discount code and a special link for you guys listed in the description box below. The one that I have is the organic bamboo all-inclusive set. I also have the fitted sheet as well as the flat sheet and the pillowcases on here. So. 
All right, friends, we are going to wrap up this video. I know I didn't show my face much in this video. It's because, y'all, I've been getting so much work done around the house that I haven't kind of, like, put myself together. So, y'all forgive me for that, but you will definitely see me in the next video. Anyway, we're going to wrap this video up by shampooing the carpets and just getting them all clean. I'm still in the core of spring cleaning, so wanted to go ahead and get the carpets in here shampooed and then pretty much my spring cleaning is starting to come to an end of course you know you're always decluttering and all of the things I think I've seen a comment um, from one of my videos that said you know you're gonna always be decluttering especially if you have children and especially if you have a spouse and that is so so true so I will always have those projects to do with you guys but I want to thank you guys so much for watching today's video I hope this video has been helpful. If it has in any way, please give it a thumbs up. That always supports my channel. And just keep watching. I have a lot more videos coming up. Um, I may not post as much with the summertime coming just because my kids are going to be out of school. But I definitely do still plan to throw some videos up here on YouTube during the summer. And if you're not following me on Instagram, find me over there because I do share a lot of behind the scenes and all of that good stuff. I will go ahead and let you guys know coming up next I will have a couple more cleaning videos just because um, that's just what's on my priority list but also I have some decorating videos that's coming up for the summer as well so you guys have seen some of the hauls and I have one more haul to share with you guys so I hope to have that up very very soon um, but then we can go ahead and get the house all decorated for summer and you know what if you're ready for summer leave a smile Mally face or a sunshine emoji in the comments because I am so ready for summer but with all that being said thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next one bye guys